<laughs> we are here in Gangnam, as you can see, exit number 10, and I'm here with uh, Sunny. Hi. Sunny works at a Motion Clinic. Yeah. And uh, he's been nice enough to escort me to the clinic from the subway station, so it will help you uh, get a feel of how far to walk. And uh, it's a nice. Beautiful day. Actually, yeah. not, not beautiful. Yesterday was raining, right? Yeah, it's very heavy rain. Yeah, so, but we got some fresh air. Yeah, uh huh. And we are on our way for the, my consultation for this guy. Sunny, yeah. can you fix this? Yeah. I fix. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time going to Motion Clinic. Again, I don't know what to expect. Anyway, this is our building. Okay. So this is the building. This is handsome building. Eh? Okay, so that's Hansung building, and we're going up to the very top floor yeah. from this building. So uh, the best way to find this place, Sunny, how do I find this place if I'm brand new? Because the Giordano. Okay. Oh, the, the Gio shop. Giordano. Okay. Yeah. So once you see the Giordano on your right, it's very famous in this building. So let's get in, side, and let's take a look. Yeah. All right. This way. If you're wondering where it is, boom, that's that's it in Korea. It's motion clinic. Okay. All right. Here is our train, the motion train. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hello. Very nice. Okay, so this is the medical history form that they want me to fill out. Uh, pretty standard, your name, your birthday, your address in Korea, blood type, uh, telephone, email, yeah, basic, basic, uh, yeah, information. And then it says, uh, please check your hair loss type in below. I think, Sunny, yeah? what, what, nor what number am I from this scale, you think? I think so. Your type is here. It's number two. Number two? Yeah. Okay. So we just circle. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna fill in this information and we'll move on quickly. Okay. Uh, Justin. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Motion Clinic. My name is Kim. Uh, I'm the manager uh, working here at Motion Clinic. Uh, I've been working here for 17 years. I basically do. Uh, consultations to English speaking customers and also Japanese speaking customers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a, a, a short introduction and then what we're going to do after that is going to have you uh, meet another Kim. Uh, she's going to do the drawing, estimation of the graphs, and then we're going to have Dr. Park come in to do the final consultation. Now through the emails I understand you have problems with your hairline. Yeah, uh, as you can see, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's been a problem over the years. It's just right. getting uh, higher and higher. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, I do everything I can to, uh, you know, stay fit mm -hmm. and uh, be healthy. But mm -hmm. This is the only thing I cannot fix on my own, so this is why I'm here. I see. So that's why. All right. All right, let's have you move to the uh, stool so we could have you uh, uh, design. Okay. All right, have a seat and we'll have him come in. What we're going to do, Justin, is draw a draft line mm -hmm. on your hairline. Okay. Okay. So any request, for example, lowering your hairline or making your hairline a curve or straight, and any favorable designs? Uh, just uh, what looks most natural. Okay. So I'm not looking for somebody else's look. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. what's best for. My okay. forehead. Right. So we'll draw up a very normal hairline, and from that point, you could give us comments. Mm -hmm. And please do note this is not going to be your final hairline. On the day of the procedure, we're going to take a massive time, a lot of time, in drafting, or in designing your hairline because it's going to be your hairline for life. Please hold this and check it out. As you can see, it's a very, very straight hairline. Mm -hmm. We didn't lower the hairline. Mm -hmm. 
어울리시는 것 같아요. 얼굴이 워낙 작으셔가지고 반듯한 이마도 작으게 미세요. 네, 이거 앱자로 하시면 이게 너무 넓어 보이시니까 살짝 살짝만 올려도 좀 많이 넓어 보이시거든요. 어, 약간 일자 디자인이 제일 어울리실 것 같아요. 어, 좌우 이제 관자 길이가 살짝 좀 차이가 있으시거든요 원래 어, 여기 정도까지 맞추면 음. 길이가 지금 똑같은데 음. 어, 원래 요거 이마 자체가 살짝 뚫어져 있기 때문에 그냥 요거를 여기에 맞춰서 살짝 수정하실 수 있고 여기 마지막 머리털 있잖아요 음. 그래서 여기 정도만 이 수정하시는 것도 이쪽은 나쁘진 않으실 것 같아요 그래서 양쪽을 이렇게 맞추어서 그다음에 여기 안쪽으로 감춰지는 부분이라서 이식을 하셔도 좀 자연스러우실 수 있어요. 그러니까 뭐 도드라지게 형성하는 게 아니라 높이만 맞추시는 거거든요. 그래서 살짝 이쪽만 교정하셔도 되실 거예요. I've never seen a hair transplant here. Oh, quite, quite a lot. Oh, really? A lot. Actually, how l i c i o u s l y actually done his like temporals as well? Oh, really? Okay. 알겠습니다. 제가 이천지. 이제 양쪽 보스 M자 검지하고 헤어라인 잡고 표정하고 이렇게 다른 두 사람들 잡고. It is best for you to take the medication. You could consider finasteride or dutasteride of your choice. Uh, it's not for your implanted grafts. It's to have your native hair, your existing hair, be managed, not to continue with hair loss. 그 처리서는 이제 어떻게 해요? 그 투타로든가 그 프로페셔널든가 그건 있자 어떤 거 제일 좋아요? 어 그러니까 어 투타든가 해서 음. 어, 우리가 저스틴이 이제 초이스 하는 것도 있고 넓고 해달라고 막 그, 투타를 투타를? 어 투타 혹시 그 조각 검진을 해 보셨나 모르겠다 있었어요 어, 어 그래. 어, 괜찮고. 그치. 어, 결합이, 어, 그래. 결합은 얼마 짜리? 먼저? 블러 프레셔? 블러 프레셔 얼마 짜리? 괜찮아요. 괜찮아? 그 닥터 파크 wants to check your donor area. 응. Basically, there's a non-shaving, partial shaving, 수술비의 차이는 안 보여요. 그래. The difference, the only difference will be time and the cost. Mm -hmm. The result will be exactly the same, and you're a good candidate for all three procedures. Let's say don't have a fall. If you don't have any uh, uh, worries in regards to the cost, he said non-shaving mm -hmm. could be uh, referable because nobody would notice you actually had a hair transplant. Mm -hmm. In regards to shaving and partial shaving, yes, it will be noticeable on the donor area, that you had a hair transplant, mm. but from day one, after the, uh, the day one, uh, uh, you could wear hats or caps to hide the extraction area, but after 10 days, your hairs would, the surrounding hairs would grow mm. enough to cover up all the FUE marks. Okay. And you could be able to go to a beauty salon to have your hair cut. So from day 10, nobody would actually notice that you had a hair transplant. So it's, it's a fight of 10 days. What's the most unique? Unique? Yeah, option. Unique option, definitely non-shaving. Because we are the only clinic, Justin, in Korea and also around the globe that conducts non-shaving with no use of scissors and clippers. If you go to US, European, or a lot of Korean clinics, they all promote non-shaving, mm -hmm. but they use clippers or scissors. In order, in order to trim down the yeah. Uh, hair yeah. and then extract. But Dr. Park, Dr. Song, all the doctors here, what they'll do is, we don't have scissors or clippers in our operation center. Mm -hmm. We just punch it out. So, so if you come by 10, mm -hmm. you'll be out of the clinic around 7 p.m. plus minus 30 minutes. Shaving, non-shaving, in terms of the time, oh. it's gonna be a plus of one hour and a half towards maximum of two. So basically two hour difference. Okay, so that's the, my consultation for yeah, today. And uh, yeah, the, 
That's what you see when you uh, come to Motion Clinic for the first time. My question to you guys is, uh, which procedure would you like me to perform? So we have the full shaven, so shave the whole hair, like what Hairliciously did. We have partial shaving, just a little bit of a mixture, or non-shaving, where they leave my hair intact and they just individually pluck out single ones and then graft it. You know, we've all seen the full shaving, but I don't think anybody has seen partial or like non-shaving. So I want to hear your opinions, and uh, what you can do is just comment down below and let me know which one would you like to see. And it will be fun to see the results after, okay? So that's it for now. If you have any questions for Motion Clinic or uh, what I'm going to be performing, leave them down below. As always, like, subscribe to this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.